Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Today I'm just gonna give you a brief walkthrough of what it looks like to check out the Social Reach website's platform. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna log into our website. Um, you can access your login in two different ways. You've got, you can either go to your domain name, so I've got fredschurch.com slash login, or you can go to socialreach.church and click on the login button there. So let's go ahead and log in. When you first log in, you'll be brought to your dashboard. So on your dashboard, it, there are a lot of features on here. A lot of them you won't necessarily use um, on a regular basis, but um, the first thing that might be useful for you to know is um, how to change your password. So if you ever need to go and change your password, you can go into users and then your profile. You scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see that you can generate a new password. It'll auto-populate one that's um, a bunch of random numbers and letters, and then you can change it to one that you'll remember, and then you can do update profile. If you need to add any more users, you can do add new here. Um, you'll want to add a new user. Um, you'll want to change their uh, role to an ad administrator if you want them to have access where they can go and change. If you just want them to be able to contribute, maybe post blog posts or sermons, that kind of thing, then you can do contributor. Um, but most people are going to be an administrator. So then you go ahead and add new. Um, they, the person that you add as their email, they'll get an email, email notification with a temporary password and they can go and log in and they'll have access there. Um, the other thing that's really useful here in your dashboard, this is how we're going to go up and visit our site so that you can use the visual editor. So if you click on your church name and then visit site, it'll bring you to the front end of your website. Here's where we can make any edits that we need. So you'll see this is what your website looks like when it's live to the world. That's what's the really great thing about this a visual builder is you can actually see the changes that you're making as you're doing them. So up here we'll see enable visual builder. If we click on that, That'll bring us into the builder. So we can see here in this builder um, that it's separated into three different sections. So we've got this blue section, which is actually called a section. And then if we scroll over here, we've got this teal section, which is called a row. And then as we hover over the content, we'll see the module. So each of these you can edit with this little gear button. So if you need to change um, like what this says if I want it to say welcome to Celebration Church instead of family. I can go ahead and I can click on that gear and I can just edit it right here, Celebration Church. We'll get rid of that R. And then we'll press save. And that will edit our, um, our content right there. And then to save that whole page, we'll click that little dot, dot, dot at the bottom and we'll click save. So that's really simple um, how you can kind of navigate around with your um, with the visual builder. This is where you're going to make all most of the changes that you will need to do. And you can see that as you hover over different elements, there's different you can you can go and edit if you want it to say um, you belong here instead of a place to belong. You could edit it right there. If you want to change the imagery. Um, you could do that as well. So it's really cool, this platform, um, that you can make changes right then and there. You can move things around as you see fit, um, but this visual builder is really great. So that's where you're going to access the visual builder. To get out of the visual builder, we'll save those changes. We'll just do exit visual builder, and it'll remind you if you didn't save it. Um, so that you don't lose anything that you were using. Another really great thing about this visual builder, if you decide, oh my gosh, I deleted a whole section of my website, I need it back. Um, in this dot, dot, dot down here, you'll see that there is an editing history, which is this um, little clock icon. So you can see that we loaded the page and if we had done made, made edits, then we could go back and revert them to where we were before. Um, and the other thing you can also do, you can right click uh, when you're over different modules and you can do undo. Or if you want to use keyboard shortcuts, you can do that too. You can do command Z, um, that kind of thing. So it's really cool, this platform. Um, check it out. See, the, the first time you log in, you'll see that there's a walkthrough. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can do that as well. So thanks for joining.